it is time to end the globe talking point for good. Eight inches per mile squared is not a valid way to measure Earth's curvature. Eight inches per mile squared. None of you have any idea what this means. You can't derive it. You can't calculate anything with it. You can't make a prediction with it. You can't tell me anything about this value at all. Welcome to I Can Science That, where we do honest investigations of everyday science. Anyone who is a glober, if you're out there trying to dunk on flatties, then this video is for you. I'm going to derive the actual formula for the drop rate, the formula that that NASA would actually use. So there you have it. I have now derived four different versions of the drop equation compare to the eight inches per mile squared estimate. I've got the distances in miles and all of the drop distances I have written in feet. If you're one mile away, the eight inches per mile squared will give you eight inches. And that comes out to you know two thirds of a foot. So that's, that's that. How does that compare to our actual values? Here's the actual amount of drop distance according to these different equations. And we can see that's super close. I mean, that's, that's in within tiny fractions of a distance. And so at one mile, it's fine. How far, let's go five miles. We've got five miles. Um, and we'll see these are the real world numbers. And here's the approximation. That's still pretty darn good. That's, you know, a hundredth of a foot is how far that, off that is. At 10 miles, the drop is still pretty good. Look at that. You can't calculate anything with it. If you understood math, you would immediately see that this squared on miles is totally out of place. That's because this is a parabolic approximation. This is for doing calculations with a parabola. As you can see, the Earth is not shaped like this. But what if we're doing like a longer observation? We're gonna go out further. Um, let's go out to 50 miles. So out at 50 miles, um, the actual value is there. And depending on which method you use, um, it, it's, you know, it's off by about a foot or not even a foot, half a foot. From, from this one, from based on arc length, which is my favorite, uh, I'm off by like half a foot. You can't calculate anything with it. Over 50 miles. I'm gonna say that's a pretty good estimate. If, if 50 miles away, you're only off by half a foot? That's pretty good, I, I'll accept that. Well, I'm sorry, friends. Those people are doing incorrect math or lying or both, and they are counting on the fact that you won't do any math at all to check up on them. Let's push it now. Let's push it out to 100 miles. Surely this approximation is no good at 100 miles. Here we go. Um, the actual value, 6668 feet, and the estimated value, 6667 feet. We are now off by Oh my gosh, it's over a foot. At 100 miles, it's off by a foot. That is a darn good estimate. Eight inches per mile squared is not a valid way to measure Earth's curvature. So yeah, if somebody is telling you that estimate only holds over short distances, that estimate is shockingly good. Okay, but that's, that's still only 100 miles. Let's go nuts. At 1,000 miles, here's our estimate based on eight inches per mile squared. And here are our actual values, depending on how we sliced it. Um, and uh, I think you'll find that's still pretty decent. 